Alright, hey YouTube, it's Street Shot God here, and I'm going to teach you guys how to install the paintball mod. I've been having a lot of requests on how to install this. People have been asking me questions. And I'm going to do the server version today. Maybe I might do the client version again, but it's only if I have enough time. But, first thing you want to do is go down to the server tutorial. You want to download the vanilla server, which you can get from Minecraft. I already have it. I think it's in... Uh, I deleted it. I didn't delete it, but here get this one which I have downloaded it's on my desktop right now the second one you need is the forge get the server and I th after that I think it's just the let me go back to the site you need to exit out of it sorry about that guys so as we go down we'll find the server and you want to look for oh we're not making a bucket server here so but you can make one but I'll save that for another day. And you just pretty, pretty stay for it. You just install. Um, oh, you actually need the server files. My bad. Server files should be. Yeah, if you click the download, it will bring you to. Yeah, okay, server files. I I just right there. I passed it. So you want to download vanilla server, which is done. And you have to put it, put this vanilla server file into there, open it up, and you want to run it. Just so we can get all the files in there and junk like that. It also failed to load whitelist operators, all this junk. And it's preparing the spawn area, and I'm not going to really, I'm not really like gonna use this so I don't really need it to prepare the map and joke like that so I'm just gonna cut it off there open it up in 7-zip or WinRAR and here we go installing next step should be installing forge yeah and to install forge we just need to open up minecraft forge in 7-zip and then open up server.jar I'm going to place it in there yes give it a second alright and there we are done and we are going to refresh the server so re run it to install it and forge mod loader it says once it says it's complete I already exited it out throws you unless you want to prepare your spawn area I'm not like I said I'm not gonna use it so I'm not gonna do it but if you guys don't believe it I don't know we save for another day and then in the mods folder that's where if you see it it's gonna say yeah just download the share files and open it extract pinball zip it contains mod folder of thing don't extract it don't listen to that and I'll tell you why if you extract it, the mo the mods folder won't be able to work. They want you to extract the server files, but there's no need for that. So you want to drag these in there and copy that to the mods. And then you want to keep testing these, finding out which one suits your computer you can keep testing them. Mine is this one. So it'll run like it's bucket, but it's not. Uh, so, okay. The reason why it's saying that is because I had multiple. So it has this one here. It should just say Minecraft server. If not, put it Minecraft server that jar. Run it. And then it should run perfectly fine. Forge mod loader has installed. Desktop people mods. Now if you go inside, the mods you'll see that you, that your new paintball mod 
has the entities and then you configure file the paintball mod is there so you can see that it installed and that's basically it I'll leave it so you guys can see that it actually does work and when it says done this is not a bucket so remember you can't use plugins it does look like kinda like a bucket server because it's launcher but it's not bucket and yeah so right now it's just preparing a spawn area for our server and another thing guys make sure that you edit your server properties you can change it, what it says when people join the structures the monsters pvp your ip needs to be entered in server ip spawn protection size da 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 I'm not really gonna edit mines, edit to mines, but yeah. So basically, this run is for Mac. The Mac version, I don't have Mac, so I won't be able to do it. But it's here. It tells you extract the double click. And yeah, I'll put this all the links in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's background noise, I'm sorry about that, guys. But yeah, have a nice day and peace out.